Um, Your Majesty, if you will um, allow me on, on behalf of uh, myself and uh, our family and the government and people of Jordan to welcome you uh, back to, to Jordan. You are no stranger to this country, but you are an old friend, um, um, going back to His Late uh, Majesty King Hussein. Um, we, we cherish the, the family relationship between uh, our two countries and uh, obviously the um, uh, official relationship we have with, with your government. Um, Sweden is always looked uh, with uh, tremendous uh, optimism from, from our part of the world and I look forward that um, this visit is not only a chance for us to reconnect but uh, also to maybe discuss some of the issues that um, after two years of COVID we can re-strengthen um, uh, the connectivity between um, uh, Sweden and Jordan and again the role that, uh, that you play in the international community. There's so much to talk about. Uh, you and I have been discussing your passion for, for the environment, um, and I'm sure there's a lot of connectivity to, uh, to be able to do that. And our hope is also to make sure that um, we can connect our private sectors, because again, we have a young, savvy um, private sectors that um, they're the ones that I believe truly build the bridges between our nation. And I hope that um, uh, we can uh, work with, uh, with your government to look at um, how we can get private sector engagement moving as quickly as possible. Um, we're also very grateful to um, um, Sweden's position on the challenges um, and the role that you played for UNRWA. Um, this is uh, for us very, very important. And if it wasn't for uh, the role of Sweden, I think um, Jordan and, uh, and the region would have suffered um, because we have multiple refugees uh, in our country and the region that uh, have been sorely affected. But also your um, commitment to uh, promoting peace and stability in the region um, and, and your role in, in working with all of us to try and... Uh, break down barriers uh, between Israelis and Palestinians and, and the larger challenges that we have. So, Your Majesty, with um, uh, heartfelt um, uh, warmth, we welcome you uh, back to our country. And we're delighted to have you here and this opportunity to exchange with, uh, with members of your government. Well, thank you, Your Majesty, for the kind words. So, ladies and gentlemen and uh, members of the media, Jordan is known for its hospitality, and the Queen and I have received a very warm welcome today here. So, uh, you may for, for this uh, welcoming. I am um, pleased that our first uh, state visit aboard for almost three years brings us to, to Jordan. And uh, now, that the pandemic has finally started to ease and up. So uh, we have had the, the pleasure, as you all know, visiting your beautiful country several times before, both, both officially and privately. We've been so greatly welcomed. Four years ago, our also daughter, Princess Victoria, and her husband Prince Daniel uh, made an official visit to your country. And I know that they have uh, many fond memories of that, that visit. Your Majesty, our families have a uh, warm friendship and our countries are close partners. Not only have we had diplomatic relations for more than 70 years, but uh, Last year, we also celebrated our 40 years Swedish presence here in, in, in Jordan. And uh, today, I will have the honor to inaugurate the new office of the Embassy of, of Sweden here in Amman, as well as the Swedish Dialogue Institute for Middle East and North Africa. So it is uh, promising to see Swedish presence here in Amman expanding and the relationship between Sweden and Jordan growing strongly. The Queen and I look very much forward, as you understand, to this continuing our visit here in your historical and dynamic country. So it's my hope that this state visit will contribute to further developing of the cooperations and friendship between our countries and people. So thank you very much, and I'm looking forward. Thank you.